Hi there guys, uh, we're at the BSA stand and I've got John here from BSA and um, I've not done a review on this rifle yet, I've shot it a couple of times but this is the, the R10TH, the 10th, yeah. which standing for, if I remember rightly, the 10th anniversary. It's the 10th, it's celebrating the 10th year of anniversary and production yep. of the R10. Yep. Um, it's also TH yeah, for yeah. thumb hole, yep. so dual meaning if you like. Uh, okay, well, quite, clever, quite clever there on that and this came out um, last year actually. At the this British time Shows, last year. Yeah. At this show, yeah, in Birmingham. Okay. For those that are not familiar with the with the R10, um, can we just go through the, the basics of it? Obviously, it's a, a PCP. So that, um, it's got a body cylinder on the front. It's of got it. a high capacity cylinder on here. Yep. Um, this is capable of producing about 310 shots. Yep. In 2.2 and about 250 in 177. Okay. It's got a high capacity on it. Okay. Um, under the shrouded barrel and silencer, uh -huh. um, you've got the famous cold hammer forge, BSA yep. barrel in, supreme accuracy. And those are the barrels That's you guys have been using for donkey's years. Yeah. Um, and the, the actual moderator, is that all moulded on or can that be changed out or anything? It, 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 it's, it's actually, this 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 will unscrew okay, and yep. then we have under here, this collar changes as well. Yep. So you can lose the shroud if you want to. Uh -huh. um, we call it customer configurable shroud. Yep. Um, and then if they want, they can screw that silencer back on. Oh, awesome. Uh, magazine as well on there? It's a 10 shot magazine. Magazine, yep. PSA magazine, uh -huh. um, as used on other models with the mm -hmm. Scorpion and the Ultra yep. and the R10. Load it up, slide it in, bolt in. And, and, uh, and we're go. looking at standard bolt action on here with dovetail rails up the we top have, as well. Match we trigger bollocks as well. Match for. adjustable trigger yep. um, as per the R10. Uh -huh. And obviously this lovely walnut stock. Um, we have the adjustable cheek piece up and down on here Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. So you can fix this and set it. Okay. We were going to do originally a push button system on this. Yeah. Um, but many consumers said to us, don't do the push button system because I don't want it to change. I don't want to knock it in my gun bag. Makes sense. Or another shooter or a family member borrow it yeah. and they adjust it and then it's not right for me. So we decided that we'd put this hex key fitting in makes so sense. it can be lock solid. Absolutely makes um, sense. This is the full length version. Okay, so what we've got here is your, your standard full mm. length. Can you get this in FAC as well? It is possible, yeah. yeah. it is possible. So this is your full length version that we're all used to have seen, but we've also but. got some something new now as well, haven't we? we? Do. Let's bring this one up. So if you drop, drop that one down, that I'll, I'll take that one off here. Thank you very much. I'll just pop that down. So we have here the same model. Okay. But we have the super. So we're looking version. at exactly the same action in here. You are. Yep. So we have walnut in both lengths. Yep. And we have black pepper. We know this is the black pepper stock. We yep. have this also in two lengths. Uh -huh. um, standard and super carbine. Yep. Um, again, fantastic Minelli made stocks. Okay. Adjustable cheek piece and the same feature set. Exactly as but before. this one now is a carbine, shorter barrel on it. Uh, is this is this barrel. using the same size cylinder as well? It's using the same size cylinder. Yeah. And the shot count stays about the same. But you so just reduced it down by bringing it a shorter barrel. Absolutely. The accuracy, people always say, oh, shorter barrel. Does that mean the accuracy is impaired? Generally not with it an air rifle. No, no. no. Generally not with an air rifle on there. So this black pepper stock, this is new. Is this actually when? When did this come out? These are available. These came out in the middle to the back end of last year. Okay. So everything we're showing you today, they are fully available in the shops at the moment. And um, what sort of retail price are we looking at these? What's the recommended retail on these? Retail prices for the black pepper is 1,049 uh -huh. retail. Yeah. And then for the walnut is 999. Uh, an extra 50 quid for a beautiful uh, stock like that. Yeah. I, I certainly know which one I'll go for. I do like the black pepper. It looks really, really nice. Right. Anyway, thank you, John. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Awesome. Cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs> it's getting silly, Tony. It's yeah, we've silly. got to think of something more original, actually. Yeah, we yeah. have. Right, yeah. OK, it's uh, the last day of the shooting show. We're all tired, aren't we? Our feet are hurting and a lot. We're at the MTC stand yeah. here. And um, I think we obviously we need to talk about the, the scopes that you've got here. So um, yep. let's just walk. We'll do a quick summary of the yeah, major scopes that you've got here. Uh, let's just rattle through them very, very quickly, and then we'll focus on a couple of them. So okay, what we got so here, Ben? Mamba Pro. Mamba Pro. Uh, so what, six times magnifier runs from a much wider zoom range than yep. on, on your average scope. Side parallax, 10 yards to infinity, low profile, what they call semi-target turrets with a cap so you, you don't lose your Time's zero. up, move on. Right, here we go. Same scope, but yep. with, um, this is a first focal plane scope, an F1, 4 to 6. So this is the F1 Cobra, yep, got one yep. of them, yep. So you've got, um, the, zoo, the reticle gets bigger and smaller as you yep. go through the zoom. Great so, go, selling scope, good for scope. 
new one. New one. Uh, first focal plane scope again, King Cobra, superior optic. Yep. This is really bright. This is the one to look at for 2020. But we'll come back to that. Right, moving on. Here we go. Here we have the, uh, this one is the, um, where was it? Ultralight. ultralight. So we've got the ultralight. So lightweight scope, um, 3 to 10 magnification, uber light, nice optics, nice lenses, flip covers, magnetic. Mm -hmm. uh, and there we are for the blind amongst us. You get two times magnifiers. So you can read all the numbers on your turret and on your side. Awesome. Moving right. on. Moving on. We have the original Viper Connect. Oh, this, this, is, this is a short eye relief. Short Over eye relief scope. Yep. Big field of view. Double the field of view of a conventional scope. Your scope is right against your eye. That's why you get the wide field of view. Yep. But you've got to have it. be used to having a scope close to your eye. Absolutely. If you're used to binoculars, it's great. If you're used to 308, um, maybe not the scope for you. Yeah, you should be using that one on a recoil rifle. Okay. okay. Moving this on. why I had to look at that one, because this is the other version. This is the Mamba light version. Yep. This is 3 to 12 or 4 to 16. Yep. It's got um, side parallax illuminated. Yep. Um, zoom focus, a four times magnifier, low profile semi target turrets. Great little scope. Looks fantastic on something like a Huntsman or a small rifle yeah, yep. where the inch tube just blends in nicely. Sort of and then we come on to the two new ones two as well. New so ones. I, let, me, let me jump in here. So, yep. what we've got here is we've got the MTC SWAT. So, this is the, if I remember right, this is the 50 times. Uh, what time 12 zoom to 50. 12, 12 to 50. magnification, 50 objective. So, I've done a review on this one and that's on the channel. You guys want to go and check that out. But I've been using this on the concept, on the concept XR now. Yeah. Um, really, really cool little scope. But the one that I haven't actually done any review on, let's concentrate on this one here, the little okay. atom. Well, so this, this is the baby version, isn't it? This is the baby version, this isn't is the baby version and uh, it's lighter, it's smaller. Yeah. There's still 10 times magnification. Quite yeah. a lot of people are used to prismatics being a 5. Yeah, yeah. When you would have a 5, it had a long eye relief. But yeah. because it's a short eye relief, you get to 10. Yeah. That's got three times the field of view. It's got double the field of view. You can still see a lot. Yeah. Maybe 10 is more useful for somebody doing an HFT. Yeah, yeah. Six yards to infinity, illuminated reticle, And is that using bright. the SCB2 reticle on that? Uh, no, this is the M, uh, M, half mil dot, 5 MD5. Yep. And that one's SCB. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, Rapidly now, moving on now. Now we're getting on to the Viper the Pro. Viper Pro tactical. Tactical turrets, so you don't have uh, any special turrets, but tactical turrets are what people are more used to. Yep, yep. Side parallax illuminated, full range of these available. And finally, the Viper Pro. Now this has a gearbox turret, yep. which runs through a three to one ratio. Mm -hmm. You know when you over rotate and you end up five inches away from the center of your target? And you can't remember you where can't to go do back it on that one. Yep. And you can take that out and build your own tapes yep. online and put your own markings in. Okay. So really a good firearm scope. I think you use one air rifles, but it's really intended for you know high velocity firearms where you've got a massive yep. bullet drop and where you get lost. Yeah. And you can't get lost on this scope. Uh, okay, and so with the MTC scopes, do they I, I can't quite remember myself, but do these MTC scopes generally come with mounts or not, or do you have to get the mounts? No, uh, the, the, we have scopes with mounts, like the um, Viper Connect comes with its own mount because it's a special scope yep. and it's kind of difficult to fit if you don't have the mount. Yeah. But that comes with mounts. And, and the new swap is they come with a very special mount, what we're calling the Ultra Mount, yep. which comes with three different lengths of um, no, rail. On the other side of these, I think I reviewed these so that you can change. So yes, it's it like a ski slope, so you can build your... So it saves you having to shim your shim the actual exactly uh, the, right. the scope to the rifle. Very, very useful on that. Yeah. And uh, whereabouts, so a lot of people always go to the day state and say, hey, oh, sorry to MTC, day state broke up. Yeah. And they always say, yeah, can I get the scopes? Where the, where, where, where the places they are getting these scopes really from? All over the world. Um, yeah. So you can get them in. We have a list of our traders on online. So yeah. it's best thing to do because we keep that up to date. Yeah. And if they've not got an account anymore, we'll take them off. So yeah. if they're on there, they've got usually got the scopes in stock. Awesome, Tony. So as usual, wide range of scopes for pretty much any application that you want. The, the two that I really love, I do love the MTC. Yeah. Uh, well, the, dedicated the air gun scopes. You don't yeah. get many of that. Most of that, it's all made for the big American market and the big firearm market, you yeah. know, where you've got 2.5 guns in every household yeah. or. 3 million sporting rifles sold a year. Yeah, you know, so you've got all that going on. And uh, so they make the scopes for that. But we're making scopes for air rifles. So don't forget that. Yeah. You don't get many that are. Awesome, Tony. As always, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Hi, guys. Um, I'm here with David. And we're with uh, Kessel Ballistics. And we're here with the uh, with the distributor, um, RPR, in, in the UK. Is that right? That's correct, yeah. Yeah, OK. So what we got here is something um, quite interesting. As you guys know, I've done a lot of reviews on the ATN scopes with the ballistic calculators. Um, as well 
the NTC have done some stuff, but this is actually quite a nice little interesting product here. Can I just borrow this off you, uh, David? Basically, it's a little handheld weather meter, however you want to call it, with the bullet cam listed in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand this over to David. And yeah. David, can you just roughly explain to us how it works and also you've got yeah, the sure. one to the side? Yeah, so basically how it works is it's taking the environmental parameters of where you're shooting from. Yeah. That includes wind speed, direction, yeah. temperature, pressure, mm -hmm. etc. that all have an impact on the bullet curve over, 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 over range. Yeah. Um, that data is held within the unit here yeah. and also transferred to an app which will give you a scope adjustment um, result. So it'll tell you how many mils up, down, left, right, you need to, you need to adjust your scope. For. Right, so to put it really, really simple, if I'm out and out, obviously for air rifles it's not going to count that much, but I know a lot of you guys out there also um, are powder burners as well. So if you're out and let's say for example you're going out 300 metres, the idea is, is that you put this close to you, the wind vane here, uh, yeah. the speed, temperature as well you mentioned. Yeah, temperature. So yeah. you've got that lot up, you've inputted in your, bu your bullet weights, your grains, uh, your coefficients, etc. So unlike the ATMs where you had to manually guess what it is and it would probably change over the time, this is live data, yeah, live data linked yeah. in. Linked straight to the app. Straight to the app. Right to you on, on the stand where you're shooting from. Okay, okay. And um, you also mentioned that we have a little handheld unit thing. We, we got one of the boxes. Uh, well, we, we have a little, uh, a little a heads display. up display which is just about to launch. Yeah. And that little display can be attached to the gun itself directly and that talking to the Kestrel meter. So it's giving you the data right by your eye so you don't need to actually take your so eye So you just stick it on a spare rail, it's there, off you go, you press the button and it right. basically said two mil dots up, three to the left and away you yeah, go. Absolutely. And it's yeah. like, that's the key thing here is it's live data. It's really light, live data um, in, your, in your hand basically. It's less than the size of a mobile phone and you get everything you need. Pretty smart stuff and I, I suppose it's really good for those guys at the powder burners mainly out there. Yeah, long range shooters. Long range shooters. Rifle shooters. Like shooters. We're starting, you know, the Kestrel 2700 which is the entry level product, yeah. up to about 800, 875 yards. Yeah. That's 220 pounds. And then you're moving up through to the full applied ballistic software, yeah. which is real long long range rifle shooting and that's 670 pounds. So it's it depends, there's something wherever you are. in the Yeah, industry. so you've got price ranges from 200 yeah. up to 6, 700, yeah. depending on your uses. And I assume these are available through you They're guys available at RPR. Our website at rpr.co.uk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much, David. Well, thank you very Cheers, much. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Have a good day. Go. Hang on, I'm all twisted. <laughs> you can't do that. Then you straight legs. <laughs> that didn't work. One more time. One more time. <laughs> all right, right. All right. Go, go. Well, that would. Way. <laughs> I've done that. Anyway, we're, <laughs> we're back. We're back here with Tony, and um, we got now um, another one in the XR range, uh, which you guys are releasing at the show and just before. That's right. um, and we got the Commander XR now. So um, this looks quite quite nice. Um, and unique characteristic of this one straight away is the old folding stock. That's so right. go on as usual. Before you got about two minutes. You're never going to take two minutes, are you? No. Tell me all about yeah. it. Yeah. So what we've got here is a side um, folding stock, which is available in 12 foot pounds for the first time. Are you actually putting that folding stock on all of your XR rifles? Yeah, well, not putting it on, it's an optional extra, so you, Op can, or you yeah. can opt for it to uh, purchase. So that will be on, basically, you can have it on... You can have it on the concept, or you can have it on the commander, because those are the only yep. two with, with the uh, yep. telescopic stock. Cool, okay. Um, it's not retrofitable to the old ones, because we have to do some modifications to the yeah, block. Yeah, yeah. We only fitted to the FAC block originally, yep. and now they're all the same, so we can fit it to the XR series. Cool. New stock, we've cut away stock, we think this looks rather cool. Cut yep. the stock away to give it a bit more skeleton looking. Oh yeah, certainly, yep. certainly a bit different there. We've got the old look. power wheel on there and the two That's gauges. Right. You've got your three power settings on there, two uh -huh. gauges, one for your humor air regulator. Yep. Um, new barrel in there. Mm -hmm. This has got the Kylite carbon bottle, underside Picatinny rail for your bipod, accessories, torch lamps. Yep. You can even have a tri-rail on the top which will hold other accessories left and right. Yep. Um, you've got you can fit AR accessories or AK grips, mm -hmm. any manner. So quite a lot pieces. of this all changed. So you've actually done a lot of work around the whole Absolutely. of the stock area. And of course, we still have that beautiful side cocking lever. Of course, Look with the that. 12 foot pound one this time. With, with the XR. No effort at all. Yeah. Um, and it's all been enhanced. Okay. So as usual, and um, yes, you can. It comes with that, but you can also unscrew it. And then the you side, can stick so. on the d zero dBs or huggets or whatever else that you want to put on that. And it also does come with a telescopic scope as well, uh, stock 
on it as well if you wanted That's to. That's right. Yeah. Well, you, you can, you know, if you've got different family members with different reaches, yeah. you can change that out. Oh, so it's you can actually do that on the, the folding one as yeah, well. On the folding one as that well. That I did not know. Uh, so we, yeah. you, V and E will be there, and you know others right. will be there, and uh, we can set it how you want it. That's also useful for scopes because some scopes require different eye relief. Some, yeah. some of the zero eye relief scopes, it's better to have a slightly shorter butt, and that just makes it uh, awesome. Easy. Fantastic. And you've got to have a shorter butt. Indeed. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Hi there, guys. I'm, I'm here at uh, Timbercroc, and we've got Des here. Um, I saw this uh, last year at the Northern Shooting Show, just right at the end. Unfortunately, we couldn't grab hold of you to get a demonstration. So, if you want to walk us through it, what is it, and what's it all about? Yeah, how are you doing, Steve? Um, it's a, a very uh, simple, simple device here. Uh, it's called the Timbercroc. Uh -huh. So, um, as you can see, it's got this uh, multiple teeth system here, yeah. uh, where all the teeth are independent off one another, all set at different heights. Mm -hmm. So this gives it the ability to adjust to any diameter log from one inch right up to 12 inches and 14 inches wide. Yep. So basically any log that you simply offer into the, the jaws of the timber croc, it will automatically adjust to it, bear oh, okay. down on it. So now you can chainsaw in you safety instead of putting your feet down, yes. doing all that dangerous stuff, you've got something now to correct. Yeah. Yes. Oh, what sort of size diameter can this take up to? So it'll take up to 12 inches uh, high and 14 inches wide, so yep. more than one person can physically lift into it, it will take it. It is a really good heavy yep. duty log holder in comparison yep. to any other log holder that's out there on the market. Uh, comes with a lifetime warranty as well. And is it all flat packed down as well? It all comes flat packed in the box. Yep. As you can see, this is it here in the box. Oh, nice. Yep. And what sort of, what sort of prices are we looking at for these then? So, uh, the normally retail online at 220 euros, and that includes delivery anywhere nationwide. Yep. So, okay. it'll probably be about 175, 80 pounds sterling. Okay. Um, and the, do you just use it in this standard orientation like this, basically? This is the setup. It, this and is the literally setup. Literally, you just throw the log in, and where you go, and how strong is that? It, it, it'll take <laughs> basically whatever you can put into it. It'll take my weight, That's 110 kilos. As long as the log doesn't that snap, is you're pretty heavy good. duty. Yeah. Awesome. You know, um, built to last, obviously. Uh, we do manufacture them in Ireland, um, and, and the other really good thing about this uh, particular log holder, yeah. it gives you enough of clearance underneath for a cart or a wheelbarrow, yeah. so you can uh, cut all your logs down into it, yeah. so you're not ever stooped over, and it's, it saves you obviously the double job of picking them all off the ground after. Awesome, so a great safety little feature, yeah. nice little tool. Re really good uh, safety feature. You know, anybody and you even do them in dogs. pink as well. We do them in pink. This was for Valentine's Day, of course, if anybody has missed out. <laughs> Nice I don't, I don't think Abby would like a Valentine's present of uh, a Timbercock. Catching on, though, now. Catching on. Right. Good to meet you, Des. Thank Thanks you very, very much. much, Steve. Cheers, mate. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, guys. We're down at the shooting range here um, where Day State and many of the other manufacturers uh, all plug together and put their, their shooting on so people can try the rifles. But what they also do, and Day State have done with Reese's College, is um, organise with these guys um, to help these guys out. So I've got Jed here from Reese. Yeah. Um, do you want to just talk me through how Daystate are helping you, what it is that you guys are trying to do um, with regards to the Red Squirrels, I believe? Yeah, so my introduction to Tony was through one of the uh, degree students who's um, involved in the Red Squirrel introduction in Staffordshire. Um, that's how I got to to meet Tony. It was something that I was really passionate about. Um, we've got a, a massive animal management department at the college. Yeah. Um, so we're looking to maybe, if possible, actually start to breed red squirrels on okay. site. And I feel that's something that will sort of bridge the gap between sort of the game industry, animal management students. Yep. Obviously, they're the future, so th these are the... These are the the people were trying to sort of educate. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, Tony's been instrumental. He's, he's donated kit to the course. Mm -hmm. um, he's very enthusiastic about the Red Squirrel uh, project. So yeah, it's been a it's been a massive sort of plus for us to get involved with these. So we've so, just been recently talking to uh, the Cornwall uh, guys. Uh, they're doing Red Squirrel management stuff yeah. as well. So you're doing a very similar thing up in the northwest, which to me is, to me is something like I, I, I live literally six miles from. Uh, 
uh, yeah. from uh, Reese uh, College. So uh, uh, we see greys all over the place. So ultimately, the aim, I suppose, would be in the utopia would be to see the greys gone and the reds reintroduced back in. Definitely. I mean, like Staffordshire was one of the last sort of strongholds yeah. for red squirrels, and it, we're only going back to sort of like the mid 90s. Yeah. Um, and it's a shame that you know that animal has disappeared from those areas. So if we can get you know that indigenous species back into those areas, yeah. Um, and just educate you know the the future of, of, of the countryside, um, sort of how how detrimental and invasive the, the grey squirrels are. Yeah. Um, and obviously the red squirrels are native to this country. So, so part, part of that is with the education of the college as well. So obviously your your primary aim up there is is as an educational college, definitely. and you're sort of bringing that into the curriculum there to help bring that along as well. Yeah, definitely. Because I think you know sometimes general public get a one-sided view on certain subjects. Well, yeah, yeah. They, they see them as cuddly grey, grey squirrels, whereas most yeah. of us know uh, in this industry, you know, it's not quite like that. Yeah, so there's a lot of things that they don't know, and I think it's hard, you know, my job as a, you know, a, a college lecturer mm -hmm. to educate, and especially educate the future, you know, um, so yeah, I think it's... Uh, and you, you mentioned also breeding as well, so it's the idea really, as, as it says there, is to breed some of the red squirrels as well, and maybe help introduce them into to other areas of the country, perhaps? Definitely. This is something uh, me and Ian have spoke about um, because he's already involved in that. So, mm -hmm. obviously, we're just sort of getting involved in this now. So, obviously, going to people that have been in this from the beginning, yeah. it's going to help us. And obviously, uh, you know, we're all sort of fighting for the same cause, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there's loads of groups around the whole of the country doing doing this similar thing. And if people want to find out more about this, where do they go? Um, they can contact the college. Yeah. Obviously, they can contact Ian at the... Uh, the Cornwall. Yeah. At the Cornwall School, we spoke yeah. to earlier. Yeah. Um, I mean, the basic information's on, on your website yeah. as well. So. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Well, I hope you have your success. I'd love to see Red Schools in the area again. Definitely. At the moment, all we see is greys all over the place. And uh, at the end of the day, it is an invasive species. Yeah. So thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. All right there, guys. Uh, we've got uh, Pete here from NV UK. We've got it quite early on the show here on the Saturday. So come on, Pete. Tell us, what have you got? Um, going in for 2020 nowadays. Uh, anyway, quick, good to see you, both of you, <laughs> lady behind camera as well. Uh, we always bring the same sort of things we always do because it's always successful, and then yep. we're always looking at converting, changing around, and adapting. Uh, I don't think we've chatted about this before, but uh, this is one the of Trevor Solaris SRX, yeah. right? Yep. So one of the top lasers with rotary dimmer control section on it. Yep. Fast focus takes a single 18650 battery transforms most night vision kits into is, something else what's that, what, what uh, wavelength is that running at uh, this one's on 850 nm yep uh, he has tried the 940 for more covert but yep. basically because this has got a rotary dimmer control just turn it down to like turn half it down. power and you just you know, you, same you got the same benefits as the 940 yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, five year warranty on them oh wow uh, so I can't fault it great yeah, I like that case That's a nice, nice case, case lockable yeah. box to comply with regulations and guidelines and things All right. but unprecedented five year warranty on it as well Okay, and that's so, so, so the actual torch itself comes in the box. In the so. box, yep. yeah, and then you get the five-year warranty just card. Hold, let's just hold that up there. Five-year warranty card and a remote rat's tail for pressure switch that's on there, yeah. uh, and little lock for, or little key for locking box thing. And what sort of ranges are you getting out with this then? With, with our top kits, for yep. example, uh, using top camera at five-inch screen, you can yep. shove this out to like 550, 600 yards. Oh, awesome. And Lots of guys using them with sort of ATN X sites, 4Ks, yep. same sort of performance, 500 yards, etc. Yep. Uh, Photon RTs, various things like that, and tubed as well. But with tube, because you've got your rotary dimmer, you've got that full control over awesome. power. And what sort so, of prices are we looking at? Uh, 160. Wow, that's pretty decent. No, that's pretty yeah. decent. So, so we're talking top-end top. torch here, yeah. out to a good 500 metres for yes. yeah, un easily. under 200 quid. You yes. know, I, I've seen some out there for three, 400 pounds. Absolutely. It's, it's definitely uh, in comparison with a lot of the top-end stuff, but awesome. underpriced and unprecedented warranty. Awesome. So that, that's the SRX. What else we got? Uh, we're going to show us now some, some night sightings. Ah, spotter. We've, we've seen this thing before in the past. <laughs> this looks like the sort of thing that I've tried to produce myself. Uh, yeah. My dad, if my dad's watching, he loves trying to build things like this. Well, that's how we all started. Eddie's, Eddie's yeah. idea. Hi, Eddie. 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 Uh, that's how we started, as you know, history at back of us trying to create things, share yep. ideas. Uh, and this is Infinity 2 Spotter. Um, it's been designed and created by lots of different people. This is yep. just my version of it. Uh, we were lucky enough to get it on Gadget Show on Channel 5 a couple of years since. Awesome. So we did all right with that. Um, usual thing, so you've got your main power for your screen. Yep. 
five inch higher resolution screen section that's on it. Yep. Top one's your infrared, which obviously daytime wise we don't yep. need. Or if you shine it in the camera, it'll probably yeah, pick it up actually. Yeah, see it on there. Yep. Cool. And the, yeah, it is working. It is working. <laughs> uh, and then obviously a focus on your main camera. Okay, and is that any optical zoom or is it just static? Is it's it? a static 50mm lens on this one, so, so it's it nice and wide. Roughly f f times four magnification. Yeah. We can swap it down to a 25 if you want to really use up close where it yeah. rattles. But there's not stuff. really much point in that, no. I don't see. Uh, you've got your usual focus on the torch beam, yeah. so you shove it out to about 450 yards with this one. Good little handheld spotter, and the battery in there is rechargeable, battery life. Rechargeable lithium. inside there, lithium iron as usual. Yeah. Uh, Roughly about five hours runtime. Mm -hmm. You can either charge it through outside or run it from a 12 volt external. Yep. Video out socket, controls for brightness, contrast, etc. Uh, this works out at 350, uh, sorry, 330. Carry case with it, uh, carry strap, charging, uh, cigarette lighter charger lead. Yep. Uh, and home charger. Awesome. So it works out at three. And while we've got you here, just throw us one of your normal night sights that everybody's used for Absolutely. those that haven't actually Do seen you them before. Uh, introduce one of yours, then, Ed. Yeah, yeah going very ready. Let's have a quick look. MV UK standard kit. So for those that don't know, MV UK, um, loads of people. Like, I've got a video on my channel where I've built my own system. These guys actually build them properly for you. Uh, so here's one of their standard MV UK stuff. So you just spin it around to the camera so we can see. Power from a. 12 volt rechargeable battery that fits into a stock velcro yep. to your stock. Life about five hours. Yeah. Camera in the box, tube. So you get the tube. So this fits onto a normal scope. Yeah, we supply yep. it with a 42 mil tube, which yep. fits most scopes. If not, we've got solutions: smaller tubes, bigger tubes, yep. thicker velcro, thinner velcro, whatever. Yep. Almost guaranteed to fit any scope. Awesome. Uh, it comes supplied with. Uh, a scope mount both 25 mil and 30 mil because yep. you may not know the diameter of your scope tube. So yep. you've got one of each. Uh, torch clamp and then a torch which we put yep. like the Evo 38 is supplied with it. Yep. Torch, two batteries charger and the clamp. So what we've got here is a complete IR night setup. You get, you're getting basically, you put it onto any of your torch, you've got your, yeah, it's, your camera, it's perfect, all perfect, of it you need. Perfect for air gun shooters. Yep. Uh, range. Depending on the scope and the weather conditions, about 150 yards. Yeah, so you, you can know. put a bigger scope on there, you can put a bigger IR but torch on there. We uh, use the yeah. same for the, the show kit, yeah. uh, same camera, same screen, different mounting system, Evo 50 torch, push the kit out to over 200 yards. Awesome, I've seen these in operations, one of my friends shoots one of these, awesome. So if people are interested, where do they go? nbuk.co.uk Awesome, there's your plug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, as usual. Or the NBUK group on Facebook. Oh, absolutely, join, yeah. Join one of our 13,000 plus members. I think, I, think got guys, I think we got you guys. I think we got you guys linked already on Ergonology. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. thanks a lot. Well, Come back in here, you mate. Nice Good to well, see you again, as usual, mate. Uh, well, yeah, great and, job. Oh, and I, and I still you. want some of your kit off you. I do need to make your kit. <laughs> Hi guys, we're at the Umarex down here at the British Shooting Show uh, 2020 and we got Bev in here. Um, I think we spoke last time last yep. year and we did the, uh, the, did the rain, the rain the last rain year, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we've got the RM8, um, now the RM8's been out for some time, um, one of my local clubs. There's a great gaggle of them out there and I've yep. shot one of these myself, uh, but I don't know too much about it. So before we go on to the new stock colours and stuff, do you yep. just want to walk me through the features of the RM8? Yeah, well the RM8, what we've done is we've added to the range now um, so we do the UC which is the ultra compact which mm -hmm. is doing very well in the market currently. What, what, what distinguishes the ultra compact? It's got a shorter barrel. So it's a carbine um, basically. It's like a carbine. Yeah. Um, similar weight to the standard RM8 that's been around for a long time yeah. um, but it's a bit more balanced so a lot of people have come back to us and said it feels a bit better when they're out shooting. Yeah. Um, we've now added the, the colored stocks now we're doing we uh, bring out the blue one now yep. so it just launched at the show and then a yellow and a green one. Yeah well. we've seen the yellow and the green one look quite striking out there desired taste on it definitely it is, yeah. uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll take some pictures and show that but um, yeah. the, the actual RM8 like I said it's been around for some time so it's a PCP yeah, uh, PCP. magazine fed. Yeah. what is it available 17722 yeah both 177 and 22 can you uh, get them in FAC you can get them in FAC and uh, you can get them in Woodstock normal uh, 
uh, so you can get wood stock, stock yep. you can get plastic stock, I've seen them as well, yep. with a ballistic plastic stock, yep. and then we've now got new laminate stocks new laminate as well. Stocks too, yes. Everybody seems to be doing that in this show. <laughs> it is, yeah. Brilliant. So. Okay, um, okay, so um, silencer on the end of it, does that come standard? It doesn't come standard, you have to order that separately. Oh, okay. um, so is it UNF on the end of it, is it? Yes, it is. All right, Just so a standard one. UNF on the end of that, and then you can put any silencer on that you want. Yep. Um, uh, we've got up the top of it, by the looks of it, we've got standard, is that standard 11 mil dovetails up there? Tail, yeah. Okay, and we've got an adjustable cheek piece on the back adjustable as well. Adjustable cheek piece and the uh, buttstock. Is and the buttstock is 3D as well, 3D. Um, I can't remember if the original RO8 was the cheek piece adjustable on it or not. It isn't. It isn't, no, no it is the, the only one that's the adjustable. Right, so another thing then, I suppose, what we've got here with the new laminate, we've got adjustable cheek piece and you can actually get the whole thing to sit and design and suit yourself. I can see you're actually putting a skeleton uh, butt pad on the end of that. Yeah. It looked actually quite nice yeah. on there. Um, and what sort of shot count are we looking at here? It's bolt action as well, by the looks of nice. Yeah, it's big bolt action. Um, on average, you're getting about eight, 80 to 100. Yeah. Um, it just depends. But it, yeah, it is a fairly standard. small bottle on, on, is, on, yeah. on that. On that. And, uh, excellent. Um, and when? It's a big question. Are these laminate stocks and how much they're going to cost? Um, the suggested retail on this is 1,100. Yeah. Um, is that a little bit up from it, the plastic stock? It is a little bit. A up little from bit. The so you're paying a little yeah. bit of a premium for yeah, that. Yeah. You are paying for the adjustable stock. You are paying for the laminate stock. Yep. Um, also, the the synthetic stock is made in-house in Germany, where this is imported from a, a well-known manufacturer. So. Yeah, I can imagine where, where the stocks come from. So, yeah. <laughs> um, um, yep. So, yeah, uh, it'll be available more than likely April, May. April, um, May this year. So yeah, we've just launched it at the show, and we're going to be taking to EWA and doing a, an official launch. Uh, you're there. off to IRA as well, just yep. to show it off at IRA as well. So we'll go have some pictures of the green. and yep. what, what other colour was green, it? Yellow green, green, and yellow, and blue. Yeah. It's like bumblebees, isn't it? it? Is, yeah. Thank you very much, Bevan. Thank you, Rossi. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. <laughs> right, we're back again with Tony. We're running out of ideas. We're running out of ideas here. Right. Okay, so we're back here with Tony, and I recognise this rifle. This was well, formerly called the Concept well, Light, but it's now the Concept, the Concept XR. XR. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. So go on, Tony. As usual, we've got a side lever on here, but run us through the major parts. And why did you do this rifle? Um, well, th this rifle's really only sort of seven months old because we launched it at IWA last year yep. as just as a concept to get the, see, see if people wanted it, and they did. Yep. Uh, we managed to get in production around June, I suppose. Yep. It's not too bad, and uh, then we just upgraded it really to the side lever version. So it's the same rifle as before, it just has a side lever yep. uh, action. Not too much to change this, it was already updated, it already had a humor regulator in the tube in this particular case. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you've got an AK grip, telescopic butt, which you can also have a folding. Well, yeah, you can get the folding on that as well. Yep. You have the front end Picatinny, you can fit Picatinny top. This is highly adaptable rifle. You can fit AK grips, bipods, yeah, full length. Right I, I, I actually borrowed one of these off you. Um, it's up to 12 foot pound. Um, I took it down to the local range and everybody was amazed. What we ended up doing, believe it or not, was ended up taking the rails off it. Yes, it makes and it lighter. And it makes it lighter. And then we put the prismatic MTC scope on it as yeah. well. And the thing was just stupidly light. Yeah. Uh, really it's a nice. kind of a go-to rifle. I've got to say, if I was out doing pest control full time, yeah. you couldn't ask for something more handy and smaller to carry around. Yeah, especially a real a utility rifles that you can just use it you can add bits not yep. keep it smaller than that. so for those that um, are unfamiliar with these it's basically along the lines of the brocock rifles the same sort of type of xr breech block yep. 10 shot magazine is it 10 shot down 10 shot magazine. 10 shot magazine side lever on there obviously a pneumatic pre-charge up here i mean roughly shot count around about 100 i think was 177 uh, a bit more 120 or yeah yeah like you're that. not getting a massive shot count because no, you've got 150 cc tube as opposed yeah. to 480 cylinder but it keeps it small yeah you've got your three power levels here, that will improve uh, as, you, yep. as you shoot, so you get more, slightly more shot count as you click up. Not much, but a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, 11 and a half foot pounds, down to about 10 and a half, and about 9 on the lower power setting, no, depending so on the calibre. I absolutely love this. So, like, I love it so much that I've got one on order at yeah. the moment. I'm still waiting to get hold of it. Tony, <laughs> nice to you, wink. We're busy, what can I say? Yeah, you're always busy. You always say that. Okay, cheers, Tony. Thank, Thank you very much. much on that. Cheers. All right, Tony, so um, we're at the range at the moment, and we've got Abby. Um, she's, uh, she's obviously shot before with yes. my red wolf so you've got here the new uh, safari red wolf uh, what's the big announcement here is that this is now 12 foot pound yeah that's right so uh, people wanted the safari but they wanted it in 12 foot pounds well it yeah. was designed as a, you know as a 75 foot pound monster gun yep yep so um, we but with the electronics from the safari how we're morphing into the 12 foot pound gun obviously with the different power settings yeah so 
we've bowed to popular demand and we've made a 12 foot pound version of the Safari. With the shorter barrels. With the shorter barrels is 12 foot pound. So awesome. you've got an incredibly nice rifle, but you've also got that look. Awesome. And what's going on here? What have we got at the moment? Right, so one of the things I wanted to, to say was that, we, you know, 40,000 people come to these shows. Yeah. But not all 40,000 shoot rifles. It's a pity that they don't come and have a go. Maybe it's a bit nerve wracking. They don't know what they've got to do. So yeah. I thought what we'd do to show Abby being uh, coached by Ian. Yeah. And how simple it is and how much fun it is. You have a go. And we've met Ian before from the right. Cornwall Schools. All the money yeah. that so you pay to have a go, which I think it's a five or something like that, for yeah. 10 shots, that all goes into the coffers of the Red Squirrel Charity. Oh, so okay, okay. so now, now that sort of yeah. makes sense. So basically, you're on the range, let people play. Five that goes to charity. Yeah. Everyone's a we winner. We donate the, the loan of the rifle and all the ammunition yeah. and air and etc. They donate their time yeah. to come up here and support it. And all the money goes back to the Squirrel and Charity. And everyone, everyone gets to play. And everybody gets to go. But let's see how easy it is and how much fun it is. Uh, we've got the camera on static here at the moment, right. so we'll see what Ian's doing. He's going through with Abby, just explaining the principles of marksmanship, how That's to right. load your rifle. And I suppose the idea here is to make everyone feel calm and relaxed. That's right, so they realise how easy it is. It can be daunting at times, yeah, can't right. it? How easy it is to shoot one of these air rifles. Yeah. What stuns people is they think, you know, can I hit a Coke can at 20 paces? Yeah, so yeah. You can pick the letter on the Coke can <laughs> to put it through. And Absolutely. of course, with them being recoilless and, and noise free, yeah. a novice can sit down and do amazing things and it hooks them into the sport. Yeah, so I, I, I can remember the first time coming to a show like this. Um, I'm quite loud and brash and out there yeah. um, and got a lot of self-confidence. So a lot of people we forget don't have that confidence. No, and, and I, I whole see a lot of people walking into. past. And I, I assume you get a lot of kids here as well. You do. I, I have to take myself back to when I first went to field target match and I said to my friend, we'll go along, but if it turns out they're all crazy, you know, we're going to get in the car and leave. Yeah. And it hooked me for life going into field target and it's led to many things. Yeah. But I'll never forget that uneasiness and unsure of what, yeah. what I was going into and that's got to be the same for everybody so you know come along to the shows have a look around buy some stuff if you want but come and have a go on the ranges try all the guns from all the manufacturers have a go on a safari have a play with you think yep. it's not going to cost you much awesome. uh, your entrance fee and five pounds which is all going to the charity brilliant thank you very much tony okay. it's really good to see the other side other than just the the selling of the okay. rifles actually yeah. the rest of it that makes up the big community that we got here it's not just the shoot well, we're all it's the conservation we? as well we've got yeah. to look after everybody and of course we, the Red Squirrel Charity is an amazing initiative yep. all over the country. Uh, we support Staffordshire, we support uh, Penrith and we support uh, Cornwall so it's a big part of what we do. It's nice to be able to put something back in but of course people are using air rifles to do that so yep. it's, it's not just a, an idea it's actually an event. Awesome thank you very much Tony yes. and uh, thank you Ian as well and uh, thank you Abby. How are you getting on? It's nice. Is it nice? It's nice. You want one? Yeah. Oh, I've got one at home. I haven't got one that colour though. Should we get one? Oh, yeah, please. <laughs> we need to get another one. I need one. I need one. Yeah, awesome. Hi there guys, um, I'm here at a stand here called Idleback um, and basically it looks like you're doing some sort of gun chair mounting yeah. system yeah. Um, primarily aimed at the rifle shooter including us air riflers as well. Yeah. Do you want to just walk us through the product and what it's all about? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we've got three variants of the chair. Yeah. We've got the Premier Combo here which has got the armrest included. Yeah. We've got a shotgun chair which is just the seat which swivels. Yeah. And then we've got the uh, standard combo which is without the armrest. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And just has the gun rest. Okay. So it's fully adjustable, mm -hmm. all singing, all dancing. Um, you've got start from top and work down. You've got yep. the adjustable gun cradle. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Which, um, yep. Sorry about that. No, no uh, worries. Fully swivels allows you to. So you can get pretty pre any much position you want on yeah, that. Yep. Course, yeah. Um, again, everything on. Oh, so we've actually got elevation tilt yeah. as well, yeah. which yeah. is handy. And these are all nice, simple, quick release yeah. release nuts on there, so you can change them all yeah. around. Um, we got seats. So go on. On this, sorry, we've got a quick release. Oh, that's so handy. You can fit your spotting scope, your camera. And that's that's a clever um, idea. So that's just like yeah. basically. So do you sell these mounts separately as we well? We do, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you can have multiple of those. But it's just a basic camera tripod mount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anything will fit on it really. As long awesome. As it's got that's pretty good. That on, yeah. Yeah. So we've got that. So let's fill this out for me. Let's uh, throw a rifle on and see yeah, how we course, how we yeah. go. Uh, so they spread out as well. Yeah, and that just about clamps the gun. Okay. If you tighten that up. So I'm sat here, so... Um, awesome. It can be quite fiddly because there's not many things to do, but once you're in the position... Once you've actually um, got your position yeah, you set know up there. So want, then if I want um, elevation change, I can lift up, yeah. lift down, like so. Yeah. And there's a side arm mount as well. Yeah, there is work. indeed. Well, got full range of height on... Yep. And... 
Once you've raised that up, this allows the armrest to come out. So the armrest can come up. Yeah, sorry, I'm just. Yeah, it's come around the other side. Don't worry about that. And we've got a pin in here that holds this so that it doesn't yep. swing around when you're carrying it and go all over the place. Pin goes in, yep. And once that's in. So we've got an armrest here, and literally I can be sat here just like so. Yeah, however you want Connected it. To my perfect. So this is really designed for those that are static shooting or on a range yeah, or an yeah. outdoor range where they just give you benches and you could literally just, I assume this whole thing just folds down yeah. nice and simple. Yeah, so it all folds down into a hold There's one behind you there, so if I grab yeah. the microphone. So the entire chair folds down. So the whole thing folds down into a hold. Nice, nice, absolutely awesome. So full range of adjustability is on there. So if we just yeah. uh, take the rifle out and let you have yeah. the rifle back, I'll get out of this. So, uh, where can people get these from? Um, I assume you've got a website, and what sort of yes, prices are we so, looking at? Um, the manufactured in Rotherham. Oh, in Rotherham, South okay. Yeah, yep. so all made there and can be collected from there. Yep. Um, prices range from two hundred pound. That's just for the base. To, that's just yeah, for the basic, the basic chair. chair. We'll just bring that. And actually, that's quite light. So that's just for the basic chair, about yep. two hundred quid. And if you want the full system here, uh, this is three hundred and fifty for this weekend. Quite reasonable. Yeah. And normal um, recommended price outside of show, roughly. Uh, three two nine plus that. Awesome. So, and your website is. Uh, idleback.co.uk. Awesome. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Love to meet you. Thank you.